Welcome back to my channel. I am coming on here today doing a video that I feel like has been asked a lot of me to do. And that is going to be talking about my favorite hair and body products. I think I do get asked more to talk about my favorite hair products, but I wanted to kind of mix them together because quite honestly, I don't have a ton of hair products. Like what you see is what you get with my hair. I don't do a lot to it. <laughs> I'll curl it and wash it and that's about it. But I do have some things to talk about and I thought I would go ahead and include some body products in that as well and make it one full video. So I hauled everything up in a Target bag and we are just gonna start talking. Some of these freshly came out of my shower, so sorry if they have water droplets all over them. Let's go ahead and start with hair, and I'll try to do it in the order of which I use them. And my favorite shampoo and conditioner right now is the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Banana and Coconut Nourishing Superfood Shampoo and Conditioner. Obviously, the shampoo is a little bit lower than the conditioner because Chad uses the shampoo and he doesn't use the conditioner. This smells... I mean, like it would in, like it says, banana and coconut. I do get more banana than I do coconut, but that's okay because I love banana. I have used the superfood kale and green apple one. I really like that one too. I don't know yet if I'm going to repurchase this. Um, I kind of want to find something else because honestly, it just pains me to pay $28 for a shampoo. I know I got the two together for 48, but I got it like on a 20% off sale. I don't know. I've just never been one to spend a ton of money on shampoo and conditioner. So if anybody knows any like cleaner shampoos, like no sulfates and all that kind of stuff, that is not $28 a bottle that you think I would like for my very fine limp hair, then please let me know. But I have actually really been enjoying that. When I get out of the shower, I don't do much to my hair at all. I will spray in like a heat, like a leave-in heat protectant because I do blow dry my hair and that's it. Like I will spray that in and I will run it through my hair with a brush and I do use a wet brush. I didn't bring that up, but that's, we have like five of them around the house because it's the only ones that my girls want touching their head. But this, um, these are the two sprays that I use the most. This is the div Okay, I don't know how to say this. Davines, Davines, I don't know. Malu Hair Shield. So it is a mellow heat protecting shield for long or damaged hair. Obviously I don't have long, but I did have damaged. I feel like it's getting a lot better. Um, it's got lentil seed extract. That's about all it says. <laughs> I bought this because my hairstylist uses this brand. And I always liked how my hair felt after she blew dry it. Now. I understand that hair never looks as good as it does when you leave the salon, especially if you get a blowout. I totally get that, but I always liked how it smelled and felt and it didn't weigh my hair down. So I ended up purchasing a bottle of it one of the times that I went to get my hair done and I really do love it. So I will use that or I have been using this Josh Rosebrook Serum Spray. This came in a detox box from Detox Market. If you are interested in clean beauty at all, I highly suggest subscribing to that box because you get amazing things. And I never would have bought this otherwise. I really don't think I would have because I'm just not a big hair person. Um, but this is a, they call it a styling product that creates a smooth, defined, weightless finish, reduces frizz, softens and protects hair against heated instrument damage. So that's basically what I use it for. I don't use it as like a styling spray. I use it to protect my hair from heat from the hair dryer and possibly a curling iron if I'm going to use it. I probably blow dry my hair for about 90 seconds. That is literally how long it takes. I think I timed it one time because one of my good friends with thick hair did not believe that it only took that small amount of time. It does not take, I just don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of hair. It's very thin. It doesn't take long, but when I air dry my hair, inevitably I will always like pull it behind my ears while it's air drying. And then it gets this little, that one little wave and I can't stand it. So I do blow dry my hair. So I always need some kind of heat protectant. Okay. So, um, on the days when I don't wash my hair or it's feeling a little dirty, I do use a dry shampoo because I try to go three days in between washing my hair. 
if for nothing else because I feel like I lose more hair when I wash it and I need to keep every hair that is on this head for as long as possible. So anything that's going to keep keep it from falling out is good for me. So I do need a dry shampoo for sure. Now I'm going to tell you my favorite dry shampoo right now is actually one that I was converted to after initially not liking it. In fact, I think I talked about it in a video about not liking the dry shampoo as much and it's the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo and they claim that it like cleans the hair um, as it's providing the oil absorption as well and I used to think that wasn't true but that also was before I had oilier hair and I feel like as I get older the oilier my hair gets. I think it's typically the other way around but you know, I got to be the black sheep in all cases, I feel like. And for me, it's just getting oilier. So I do really like that. I'm out of it. So I need to pick up another one. And luckily, the travel size is the birthday gift for Ulta this month. So I need to go and pick that up for sure. And probably the full size as well. But these are two dry shampoos that I like and I feel like I always have. This is the Satchewan Dry Powder Shampoo. I've talked about this before. And the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the original. Y'all can see I can't keep a hold of my caps to save my life. This is the original. I do prefer the tinted ones even on my blonde hair because I feel like this just is very white. However, most of the time, except for the Living Proof, if I'm using any other dry shampoo, I will typically use it at night. I will put it in my hair at night, really zhuzh it up, make sure it gets in there, and then I will let it soak everything up overnight. And I feel like when I wake up the next morning, it does feel cleaner no matter what dry shampoo I'm using. So it doesn't really matter if it has a white cast to it because by the time I wake up, it's gone anyways. But those are the two that I have with me right now that I actually do love, but they don't beat the living proof for me at this point in time. This one is when I need a little bit of volume in my hair, which let's be honest, is all the time. I mean, this is like, I do have a nice little bit of volume in the front and I have an annoying cowlick in the back where I don't want volume, <laughs> but everywhere else it's very limp and very just kind of like flat on my head and I need volume. I'm actually getting my hair done tomorrow, so I'll probably get about that much cut off, which is about how much grows in a six week period for me. And once I get it cut, that is the length that I like to keep because the longer it gets, it just gets so flat. So I have sworn by this for a very long time. I'm almost out of this one. This is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. There are other volume blast type dry sprays, a, a ton of them, I'm sure. And I've tried a couple other ones, but they don't work like this one. This doesn't get crunchy in my hair. It doesn't like, I don't feel like my hair sticks where I don't want it to. It's just a very nice spray. I lift up the root, spray it down on my hair, kind of put my hands in it, give it a little bit of texture, and it just gives me nice volume. It makes me feel better about my hair. I love it. Like this is, this is empty. <laughs> I need to put it in my empties. I also have a small travel size, but I don't want to use that because I do take it everywhere when I travel. And the last thing for hair is, okay, this says it's a dry texturizer. I use it kind of as a hairspray. Only because that's basically what my hairstylist did. She, after she curls my hair, she puts this in and it's also the Davina's line. And I think its name is, this is a dry texturizer. I think I've talked about this before in a favorites and I looked it up and that's the name of this product. I love the way this smells and I do feel like it holds the curl a little bit without giving a crunchiness to it, but also texturizing the hair. So that's how I use that. I don't use any other hairsprays. I don't like the feel of hairsprays in my hair at all. I run my ha hands through my hair all day long. I'll flip it to this side. I'll flip it to that side. I mean, y'all have seen so many people told me to stop touching my hair videos, y'all know how much I touch it. Um, I can't stand having anything sticky in my hair. So I really have been liking that for that purpose. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about for hair is the actual curling iron I use. I have had a lot of people ask for like a hair tutorial and it's so boring. I mean, I just curl my hair. So I don't know that I'm actually going to do one, but I might, I might like at the end of a makeup tutorial. And this is the T3 single pass one inch curling iron. 
So I think they have it in a couple of colors. This is obviously the white. And I have used wands in the past and I've just gotten to where I like an actual traditional clamp curling iron the best. I like this one because it has five different, am I counting that right? Yes, five different settings. I typically will stay on three. You click this to get to the different settings. Um, if I curl like my daughter's hair who has literal like a horse mane on her hair, it is the thickest hair <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. I will have to go up to like four or five for any curl to hold because it's so thick. But I like having those options. This is just the one I like. It's the one I use. I've had no issues with it. It's not cheap. I'm sure that curling irons are fabulous and half the price, but that's just the one I use. Okay, let's get into some body products. I don't, you know, I said I didn't have a lot of hair, but I don't think I have enough, like a ton of body products. Um, let's see, the, a couple things, one thing that I use in the shower, in fact, I just got it out, sorry, is the Beauty Counter Sugar Scrub in Lemongrass. I've talked about this before. This is my favorite scrub. I will use a body scrub probably every third day. So typically when I wash my hair, I will use a body scrub just to kind of get any remnants of a self tan off, um, get my skin ready for a new one, or basically in the summer, just get all the dry nastiness off. Not in the summer, well in the winter. <laughs> in the winter. In the summer, my KP gets really bad and this helps with that. Um, so I just love a good body scrub and this one is my favorite. I love the way it smells. This is, uh, this is the smaller version that comes in their holiday set that's out now with a, um, corresponding body butter in lemongrass, but the regular is much bigger than this. I will try to remember to link both of those options below. And then when I get out of the shower, I will... I mean, I go back and forth. Sometimes I would just use a body lotion. Sometimes I want a body butter. Sometimes I'll add my body oil to a body butter to a body lotion. It does, it just depends. I don't have any like rhyme or reason. But I think y'all know from all of my empties videos that my all time favorite body butter is the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Ultra Hydrating Body Butter. This is the big mamma jamma, okay? They had it, I think, last month on QVC. I don't know if you can still get it or not, but this is the big 24 fluid ounce, which a regular is eight fluid ounces. So you're basically getting four regular size in this. I just love this so much. I have always loved this. I will always love it. Chad loves it. Um, I The one thing I would say is negative about this is that she tends to not keep the same scents throughout. Like I feel like, cause I, may, I basically get it on QVC and I feel like every time she comes out with a new set or new big ones like this, she doesn't have scents that she's had in the past, which I mean, I have my favorites and I like to try new things, but I also like to keep my favorite scents and it's not as easy to do. So that's the only negative thing I would say about this. This scent is called Cozy Chalet and I think she described it as apricot and honey. And I totally get the apricot vibe because I love her vanilla apricot one. It smells similar to that. But honestly, I haven't, the the lavender and the rose scents I don't like because I don't like lavender and rose scents, but all the other ones I love. So that is like the one body lotion, body butter product that Chad and I both use on a very regular basis. Now, if I am gonna mix in an oil, I have two that I have been really loving lately. This is the Jordan Samuel body oil. So it looks like this. It doesn't look like a ton has been used, but you need so very little. And it has like a little um, out thing. So I will say it's not the easiest to get out. I wish that it was like in a pump or something, but I think it's because you need so little. Um, this is a, l a luscious body oil inspired by the Sicilian countryside. Olive and grapeseed oils nourish your skin while the crisp scent of refreshing citrus extracts make you feel like you're on an Italian holiday. So I really like this. I rarely will use a body oil by itself. Occasionally, like if I'm about to, if I really like, like the scent of it or if I'm about to go out and I have like a dress and I want to kind of look shiny and don't necessarily want to put on like a bronzing glitter product. I'll spray the area that I want to put the body oil and make it a little damp and then rub some in and it just makes it look really hydrated and good. 
but I will most often mix it in with a body butter or a body lotion. So for instance, all the sets that I get from Josie Marin, they almost always have an unscented version. I like for my body products to have a fragrance to it, which by the way, the Josie Marin ones they say are not synthetic. Wanted to say that real quick, but I do like to have a fragrance to my body products. And so I will often um, put in a body oil with the unscented body lotions that I use to make them more nourishing and give them a fragrance. This is another body oil I have been using, and this is this one was actually sent to me. This is from the brand Supernatural Body Organic, I think is the color or name of the brand. And this is the Ultra Nourishing Body Oil, and I chose bergamot. I love bergamot. I love vetiver. I, I love those types of like woodsy scents. Yeah, I love this so much. This does come in a pump, which I love because I can make sure I use the same amount each time that I use it. Um, this has matcha leaf extract is like the first ingredient in it. Lots of extracts like kelp extract, sunflower seed oil, flax seed oil, coconut fruit oil, jojoba seed oil, grape seed oil, really good oils, very nourishing for the body. If there's one thing I would say about this, I do think it is a bit expensive for the packaging that you get because I do believe this retails for like $60. It's four fluid ounces. It is really good organic oils so I'm not faulting that. Like I know that it's probably not the cheapest product to make. However, this is a very like plastic bottle and I think if you're gonna like charge $60 for something it should be in a nice luxurious recyclable glass bottle. I'm not saying this isn't recyclable because it is but I think y'all know what I mean. That's the only downside to it. But other than that, I love the scent. They do have various scents and I love the feel of it on the skin. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is my favorite body sunscreen. I get asked a lot what I use on my body because I talk all the time about what I use on my face. And my favorite body sunscreen is the Beauty Counter Counter Sun Mineral Sunscreen Lotion SPF 30. I mean, I've used this so much, the writing has come off of it. This is a 19% zinc oxide. This is all I use on my kids. It's all I use on myself. If I go to the pool, if I'm going to, going to be outside for a prolonged period of time and any part of my arms or legs are showing, I will put this on um, regardless if I'm, if I'm going to the beach or the pool. I put this on my girls' faces and they don't break out, so I don't want you to think you can't use it on, on your face because you can. In fact, the first time I had, because I keep it downstairs, kind of out in the open where I remember to use it on my girls every day, and the first time that Chad put it on Audrey Kate, because I was like, I, you know, they're about to go to the bus, and I'm like, oh, AC doesn't have her um, sunscreen on, will you put it on her real quick? And he put it on, and he was like, oh my goodness, this makes you look like you have makeup on. It's so glowing, which is funny coming from Chad, if you have ever <laughs> seen or heard him talk. It's not something you would think would come out of his mouth, but it is true. It gives such a pretty glow to the body. I absolutely love this. And then another one that's like looks all janky on the top, sorry, is the Beauty Counter Counter Sun Tinted mineral sunscreen mist. So I'm going to tell you, Chad uses this every day because it makes his arms look tan and he loves it. This is the medium deep. Um, and again, it's just tinted. It doesn't have a white cast. I don't find that this does either. It rubs in really nice. The spray version has a little bit of a white cast. So I feel like if you're going to get one or the other, I would suggest the cream, but I, he loves the tinted version of this. So Beauty Counter Tinted Mineral Sunscreen Mist. They have a light medium and a medium deep, and we use the medium deep. So that is going to wrap it up for my favorite hair and body products. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, let me know. If you have any recommendations, let me know what your favorite hair and body products are, um, especially the shampoo and conditioner, because I do need to refill that very quickly. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.